Just quickly ask you who you voted for. I didn't vote for anyone from New York, and I didn't get a chance to when I was in New York. Is there someone you would have supported? No, not, a, not in this election. Are you uh, under 30? Yes. Okay, thank you. Hey, how are Good. you? Not bad. I want to ask you about uh, your thoughts on our new president-elect and uh, your, just your opinion of how things went down. Well, it was a, it was a, it was a good display of democracy in action. Yep. If, any, uh, if anything, our democracy is intact. We still have the right to choose who we, who we lead our country. And um, uh, we'll see what direction he takes us in. I mean, it should be interesting to see how a person, how a billionaire leads a nation as opposed to a seasoned politician. So it should be fascinating to see how a, a man made of wealth takes the nation in, 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 in a different direction as opposed to seasoned politicians who we've been having in the past. But nonetheless, it was, it was, it was once more a demonstration that our country still chooses its leaders. Um, uh, some people got what they wanted, some people didn't, but that's the nature of the, of the political machine. So once more, demo once more the American political system prevailed and we're still a democracy and we still choose who we vote for. Did, did you vote? I had to vote an absentee ballot. Did, did you vote for Trump or, or who you vote for? I was on the other side, but um, uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was once more a demonstration that we're still... So uh, you were uh, for Hillary? Yes. Okay. But it was still a demonstration that we still uh, allow who, who, who we want to, to run the country. We're still, we still have choice in this nation. So if anyone, it's a, it, it, it may have been a victory for Trump, but in the greater sense, it was, it was a victory for the USA. They were still a nation who gets to choose and has the right of choice. What's your first name? Uh, Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. I'm feeling sad because the country was down to the choice between both those people. Neither of them should have been president. Okay, you feel sad about that? Yes, I do. So, obviously you didn't vote for Donald Trump. I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton either. Okay. Now, I don't think either of them should be president. So what would you, what, how do you think we should, should uh, progress? How should we approach what we've got now? We have to do the best we can with what we have, but we have to look at our whole political situation uh, in a more objective light, and we have to try to nominate people who have a life of their own, not just in politics. A person who's just be in politics he can't be objective. He'll do anything or she'll do anything to stay on the job. It's the best job they'll ever have in their life. And therefore, you can't expect them to do, quote, the right thing if it cost them their job. You need to find people who don't want to be in politics who are doing you a favor to serve. Well, isn't that what we're getting? No. I mean, he, he wasn't a politician. <coughs> but he very badly wanted the power. And he, he listen, it doesn't matter. <coughs> it yeah. showed that the way he talked showed that he never gave it a, a, a moment's thought of what he said. But <coughs> I wish him well now. He's our president, and we have to do the best we can with him. Okay, what's your first name? Herschel. What I think about... Yeah, what you, about last night and how everything went down? Well, it wasn't my choice, but... It I was, mean, yeah. But, I mean, it's, uh, it's half the country voted for him. We live in a democracy. I just have to accept it, move on, and take it for what it is. What do you, what do you think... Uh, what do you think he's going to be like? Uh, I have the, no idea. No idea. But with the country so polarized, do you, do, how are we going to unify us so that we can actually... That's a good some? question. That's why I'm not in politics, because I don't have those answers. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, right now, I'm going to have to, you know, I did what I could do. And then I have to accept the results. You know? What's your first name? Sandy. Sandy. What do you think? I'm very happy. Yep. My house is very divided. We have a lot of Democrats and Republicans in my family. And I am a Republican. And we gave Obama eight years to give it a shot. And I'm no better off. And I'm hoping for the best with Trump. Um, now, were you a Trump Republican or did you become a Trump Republican? No, I've always been a Republican in my family. But when it, when the, when it was starting, it, was mm -hmm. he your choice from the very beginning? Yes. He was. Were you shocked that he won? As yes. He, yeah. Yeah. How do you how do you think he he'll govern? What would you what would your advice to, to him be if he were to see this? To on how to um, bring the country together. He needs more filters. He needs to think about things before he says them and before he acts. That's not my favorite thing about him. And I think he needs to work with the other side and just unite this country the best he can. Are you optimistic? You must be. Oh, yeah. What do you think is going to happen? 
Um, what, what would your predictions be? I mean, he well, made I mean, a last lot of night, points. last night they said the Dow was down 700 points, and well, it, it's up a couple exactly. hundred today, and yeah. it's doing great. And my prediction is we're going to get America back to work. We're going to stop all these overseas trade deals and get our jobs back, which we need. You know, I I'm from an area where we have a lot of factories closed down, and I know what's been going on with the auto industry, and and um, I just want to see. America do well. So one of his key platform approaches was to get rid of a lot of the illegals. Do you think there should be mass deportation? Not mass deportation, no. Um, I think that should be a very selective process. Um, there are a lot of very good people that came here um, and now they're here and they've had children and I right. think they have a right to stay. Yeah. But it's the ones that are dealing the drugs and hurting people that I agree. Need to clean up a little bit. All right. What's your first name? Kathy. Kathy. Give us a, a little bit of uh, how you're thinking right now. And no, what, what no, no, no. Presidential thing? Yeah. You don't want to go there? No. I don't want to go there. Could, can I talk to you? I'd love yeah. to get your opinion on how you're thinking right now. Are you, are you uh, under 30? Nope. You're over 30? Mm -hmm. Wow. You look young. Anyway, <laughs> what do no. you think of the election? You asked me if I was <laughs> Well. Um really disheartening. I woke up really sad this morning and like kind a, of... What, what, why, why were you sad? Because we just elected a man who doesn't support women's rights, who's a bigot, who's anti-Semitic, who, um, you know, it's just disgusting and it's upsetting. And Pence is even worse. He's homophobic and he believes in conversion therapy, which increases suicide rate by 8% in people who are homosexual so it's really sad yeah he's got a lot of power right now too yeah doesn't he he's a lot of power everything a lot More of power, power than any and that's we've known in a long time. the most frightening bit about it but I mean we're just gonna have to see what he's gonna do for he has to do something four years we'll see what he does most likely nothing who knows how will you do you, do you think you live in a different country did you wake up thinking wow it, it's not it's gonna be completely different now yeah I did. I woke up and I just realized it's sad that there's that much, I don't know, hate or people are that upset with our country that they really went to someone who has no idea what he's doing. That's what it just feels like, yeah. that we're kind of lost right now. Like I want to unfriend America, <laughs> but you I mean, can't. <laughs> well, the, the website on the Canadian crashed. crashed. Yeah. Getting to Canada, that's amazing. It crashed, I know. So. I mean, everyone was joking about it, but it's seriously like, something that people are actually considering. So. What's your first name? Delancey. So, <laughs> tell me, how, how do you feel today? Oh, I feel really disappointed. I feel um, that our, you know, that this was an opportunity for the um, for the first woman president to be elected, and for our country to vote for um, a positive approach to all kinds of things from health care to um, <clears throat> um, foreign policy and unfortunately we, I think we've, re we, we've picked the wrong person. Do you think he's going to turn back everything, all the things that Obama has done? Do you think that's just going to be like wiped off the table? Well certainly much? from what he said that's what he's going to do. Um, I think that um, it remains to be seen. He, he certainly has come across as as thinking that as sounding like a dictator and not really understanding the um, the way our government works. So I I hope that um, there are other people in the government who can um, you know really make a difference and block some of these things. But you know, deporting people and um, uh, racial profiling and treating women the way that the he's talked about and you know the foreign policy. It's just it's devastating. Um, were you a, a Hillary Clinton supporter? Yes. From the very beginning? No. You were a Bernie person? or I was a toss up Bernie or Hillary, but I definitely thought uh, what Bernie was saying was resonating more with me. Do you think that if Bernie was in her position, he would, would have won? I think Bernie spoke more to the, to the issues that I think um, got people to vote for Trump. You know, I, I think that 
they chose the wrong guy, and um, I think that it's really disappointing, really disappointing. And my overwhelming feeling is just of anxiety and fear for my kids. And you know, I have two little girls, and I just don't know how to explain to them that you know our president, you know, says things about women and treats women poorly, and I just think it's it's awful. What's your first name? Hannah. Hannah and? Jean. Why do you think Hillary Clinton couldn't pull it, pull it off in retrospect? Well, I think she's an establishment candidate, you know, and people wanted a change, and um, they think that he's going to give it to them because he's saying the right things, but he's not. <laughs> and in a month from now, we're going to be in a worse situation, and, you know, Maybe Hillary was the status quo, um, but you know, at least I, I would have felt safe. And I think, unfortunately, you know, misogyny I think is a big reason why people didn't vote for her. You know, that makes me sad to say. And certainly, everybody who didn't vote for her isn't a misogynist. But you know, at the same time, I think you know, I think it's really backwards that we, you know, India has people and women in power. I mean, there's. It's just, it's staggering. Not only I, but a lot of America is tired of the Clinton dynasty. Tired of the Bush dynasty. Just get rid of Washington and start over. Okay. Um, so how do you think this new beginning is going to kind of... Pan out? Yeah. I don't know. Time will tell. I, I think uh, we'll come out of a sluggish economy and get into a more roaring economy. You do? Yeah, I, I honestly do. How is he going to do that? I don't know. All right. Smoke um, and mirrors. Do, should he should he um, tear up the uh, Iran deal like he says he's going to? I, I hope he looks at it very closely. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Iran deal. They're, um, they definitely were favored in that. I, I would have to... I, I, you know, these are things that I don't know a lot about. Right. Um, it, it, I, I would say get the get the uh, crooks, the thieves, the uh, rapists, as he would say. Um, and I, I lived in Denver, Colorado, and I've seen stuff like that happen. And we need to get uh, those uh, undocumented workers. It's, but isn't that racial profiling? Or is it not? If they've committed crimes... Well, they need to go but back to where they come. Skin people? Yes, they are. So that's like, how are you going to know that they're legal or not? Legal? I don't know. And, and that's hard in in uh, in the West, uh, where there's a lot of uh, Latinos, um, because you know most of them have uh, been born here. And that's something that I would say to my racist friends when they say send them back to Mexico. <laughs> Our country was founded by the Spanish. Do you, do you think there should be a wall? Do you think he, he should build the wall? I, I, he's, the thing that I love about Trump is he's very entertaining. And I would love to see him try to build a wall. I think that would be interesting. 